A console tier list? Nah, if I was going to do a tier list, I think I'd actually want to tier list every single video game I've ever played. Like something really ambitious. So I was looking it up earlier, and it looks like they have tier lists like pre-made for every game via console. So I guess I'd go by console. So I'd probably start in 64. So I think this is every N64 game. I'm actually not sure. It's going to take eight years. Yeah, it's going to be a bit. We'll see. I, I, I really would be curious to see how many games I've like played on all of these. Because it's going to be a lot. I like how this starts with Beast Wars. I've mentioned this a lot. I don't know how many of you ever played the Beast Wars game, but this was also on PlayStation 1. It's like a little arena fighter, and it is one of the worst fighting games ever made. I loved Beast Wars and hated this game so fucking much. Beast Wars game is a B. You you need to you need to get checked out, man. This is not a B. This game was awful. I hated it even when I was a kid. Like this actually looks about as good as Super Fight, the two hundred dollar thirty second game I played on Steam. Unfortunately, this one is absolute fucking trash. The show is a classic, though. The show would be up there in, like, the S tier, but the game is actual dog shit. It's just unplayably bad, even for its time. Ready Rumble Boxing, though, was really good. Oh, wow. <laughs> when I think of these games, I picture them so much better in my head. Wow. I don't, yeah, I don't know what's going on with, uh... The neck there, but I respect it. Man, I remember this looking so much cooler. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I'm convinced this is, this is a B. That's that's probably still gonna be a B. I remember Rampage being decent. I mainly remember the what was it? The Super Nintendo Rampage. Do you do anything else besides the build? Oh, wow. Man, N64 actually had titty physics. Isn't that crazy? It was so ahead of its time. Yeah, I remember the game kind of. Uh, I think I'll just put this at, like, B. I don't remember liking it super much. Like, I wasn't a huge fan. And this is not ringing too many bells. I'll just put it at a B. I at least know I played it. It seems fine. I'm gonna have to make one more here for games I didn't play. But even the games I didn't play are still better than the sports games. Ooh, Army Men! That game was good. Army Men was real good. These games were good all the way uh, like through the PlayStation lifespan too. If I remember correctly, they even had one on the 360, but it was trash. Oh god, these were good. I used to love my little army men. I used to have them square off against my G.I. Joes on the edge of the bathtub. There was always a cutthroat battle of patriotism. That was some American shit. Sport. Sport. <gasps> Tony Hawk! I didn't remember this being on N64. Huge. I imagine it's the same, right? Yeah, it looks the same. God, fuck yeah. That's definitely easy S. That's an S all day. I wouldn't give it GOAT status though, but definitely an S. Oh, the Space Jam game. Is this Space Jam? Oh, that's not Space Jam. What the fuck is this? I can't... Is this Fatal Fury? I can't read it. Babdaber64. I think. You're right, it's Air Border 64 you're right. You're absolutely right. That was not the guy with the baseball bat. That is a, that is absolutely different. Good call. Good man. What, did you get the monocle out or something? How'd you see that? I've always longed for the day when I would get my hands on a real hoverboard. I know I'm not the only one here who feels the same way. I don't recognize this game at all. Thing from having a real life hoverboard off at E3. And the problems had been ironed out. Sadly, yeah, I don't think I ever played this. In the publisher Worms Armageddon, that's an S. Better on PC, but god, it's so good. 
Worms Armageddon is probably the best Worms game. Holy fuck, it's so good. Kaya still plays this. God. I remember using Ares instead of LimeWire to download Worms games. It was so good. God, Worms is amazing. Easy S tier, but better on PC. Arrow Gauge? I think is what it says. Don't know if I played this. Oh, the same guy's reviewing it. For those of you who have watched the episode Futuristic Ship Racing, a few different game modes and extra tracks and races to unlock. It's Great like F Zero. Not very fun to play. But the game has not as modes, cool. Bog -standard yeah, I don't think I played this shortcuts. one. No opinion. Diet F Zero gets a didn't play from me. Asteroid Huffer. Oh, Asteroid Hyper. Not having music, in my opinion, also makes you more aware of the game. This looks like shit. What <laughs> the fuck? Testing with gamers before the release of the game would have highlighted this. Damn, that's rough. Losing out to classic Asteroid. I didn't play it, but it does look like shit, so I'm just going to put it in trash anyway. I mean, you can't really go wrong with the Atari games, but they're also not, like, super special to me, so I'm just going to go B. I did play it, but we all know what that is. I think this one's pretty obvious where it's going. Super Smash Bros. 64. I still remember getting picked up from after school daycare and my mom had it in the car and I was so excited to get home and play it because I thought I'd be able to play as Machoke and then I didn't get to play as Machoke because it didn't exist in the game. Shit still slapped though. So good. They still have Smash Bros. 64 tournaments. You guys know that? They have like full freestyle combo shit. It's crazy. It's cool too. Like it's still cool. About the balance of like top player versus comboer. Um, Kiyoshi right now is arguably the best player in Japan. He's he's I believe won every Japanese national. Ooh, okay. and he's a, he is a Kirby player. Yeah. It's so and sweet that this game still actually has a community. That's so fucking cute. Yeah. The game's good. Like, it's still cool. Like, it's still pretty fun to watch. Hey. Be like, that was on purpose. No, exactly, exactly. But yeah, absolutely goat for N64. Oh, Smash angle, 64 is so good. Worked out. No. Army Men Sarge's Hero. This is not the sequel. I think pretty much all Sarge's Hero is going to be A. I don't even need to look it up. It's pretty much the same, but just not as refined as the sequel. I, Maureen's? At our, our Marines. Project Swarm. Oh, same guy. Everything falls into the generic categories of standard weaponry from a It doesn't look bad. Game. I didn't play it though. One area where the game So I don't know anything about it. Aiden Chronicles? Don't know if I played that either. I feel like a lot of these just weren't in like US releases, which is why I don't know them. Man, I can't see the title at all here. All I see is 99. Does anyone recognize this? Bust a move 99? I don't think I played this, but it seems like a lot of people recognized it quickly. So it's one of these kind of games. I didn't play it, but I know this type of game. Bassmaster 2000. This is a sport game, but this is a good one. Nintendo fishing games just hit different. I'm pretty sure I even made a video on this game a long time ago. This shit was clapping cheeks in the day, I'll tell you what. Oh yeah, you could you could catch some real swamp monsters. Here, let me get a long play. I wouldn't be surprised if they coded Nessie into this game. This shit goes hard. I'm gonna put that at A. It's definitely not S, but it is A. Banjo-Tooie. This is where it's gonna be hard, because I don't know if I liked Banjo-Tooie or Kazooie more. I feel like I prefer preferred Kazooie. They're both incredible, but one's gonna be goat, one's gonna be S. God, these games were so fun. This was the only game series my mom actually wanted to play. So my mom and I played together sometimes. God, these games were amazing. Alright, I made up my mind. Banjo 2 is gonna be S, but Kazooie is gonna be goat. I remember in Banjo Kazooie they have the shark level, like the mechanical shark, and I was a little afraid of them. So I made my mom take the sticks. What a fucking disaster that was. We, we had a hard time making progress there because she didn't really like play games, but she just really enjoyed like running in circles. 
Banjo Kazooie also has some bomb ass speed runs too. I like Kazooie speed runs. I don't know about Tui. I don't know if it has cool speed runs. I recognize this cover, but I don't know the game. What is this? Blast Drifter? Anyone recognize this? Blast Corp? Vaguely remember this. Damn, this is pretty cool. Is that really all you do in the game? Like I said, I only vaguely remember this one. Nice. I, I don't remember it well enough to put it anywhere, so for now I'm just gonna throw it in here. Bomberman Hero is still probably one of the hardest goddamn Nintendo 64 games ever made. It's a cool game, it's not great, but it is cool. It was brutally difficult though. I'll put it... B or A? I'll put it A. Just because I remember it so vividly. This shit was absolutely beating my ass. There's one boss in particular that I could never beat. I even made a video on it too. I don't remember the name of the boss, but you're like underwater shooting shit at him. It's miserable. It's so fucking hard for no reason. But it's a cool game. This is during that time where every game tried to be Super Mario 64. Is Biofreaks that fighting game that was on the PS1 as well? I think it is. Didn't clash with the release of Mortal Kombat 4 in I didn't play a lot of it. I didn't like it very much. I was actually excited for the arrival of I like the aesthetic Mortal though. Kombat. And so it seemed like a smart move to ship out the N64. It seems pretty cool though looking back on it now you can fly around the arena. It worked on Rampage World Tour being a great game. This shit seems kind of cool now, but I know I didn't like it when I was a kid. Any of Midway's fight. Like I said, I didn't really like it when I was growing up, but I did play it. I'm going to give that a C. Body Harvest I also didn't like very much. It was just so much of doing fucking nothing. The cover's still cool though. It's got like that weird cockroach thing on it, like the guy from Men in Black. This used to scare you. I never even got to a part where anything happened. You just drive around doing fucking nothing. And I guess you can shoot a couple insects with a tank. Yeah, I think I'm gonna safely put this bad boy in the C tier. This is a sports game, but it transcends the category. This is Blitz. Blitz is still a classic. I mean, if I remember correctly, this even got ported to the Xbox at some point. Is that Brad Johnson? No, it's not Brad Johnson. I think that's Sean King, the quarterback for the Bucks. That's Mike Allstott. I still remember the roster. So good. This game's so good. I, don't, I wouldn't necessarily put it in like a GOAT category or anything, but I definitely do think I'd put it in S. That's one of those that just goes well above and beyond the rest of the genre. Is that what the next one is? Because I couldn't read it. Buck Bumblebee? I don't recognize the title. Oh, Buck Bumble. God damn, this is going hard. Yeah, I didn't play it. Looks like a game I would have enjoyed, though. You just fly around as a bee? <laughs> cool. Oh, that's gonna have to go and didn't play, though. Bomberman 64 I had mixed feelings on. Like, it wasn't a bad game. But I still preferred, like, all of the Game Boy games to it. Like, by no means was it bad, but it just wasn't as fun for me as the Game Boy games. And it definitely, I don't think I enjoyed it as much as Bomberman Hero. This game whooped my ass as a kid. Bro, old games were so hard. Like, actually so hard. Even today, they're still difficult. Like, I replayed Ocarina of Time back in... Would have been like... 2013? That water temple broke my fucking brain. I'm gonna put that just below Bomberman here. That's gonna go into B. It's like Blues Brothers Cross Frogger or something? What is this? Blues Bros 2000. Damn, this shit looks hype! <laughs> Actually, it looks kinda cool. I did not play it, though. But I used to like the movie. If I remember correctly, doesn't Blues Brothers still hold the record for most cars destroyed in a single scene? Or was that beaten by the Matrix? I don't remember. Uh, Battle Tanks Global Assault? Sounds familiar. Oh, I played this. I didn't like it very much. Like, it's not bad, but it's not good. I'm debating between a B and C tier. I'm just gonna go 
B. Eh, nah, it's too high. I'm not going to put that with Bomberman. I'm going C. Milo. Milo's Astral Lanes. It's a bowling game. The game's poor sales figures in the rest of the world. Yeah, I mean, it's a bowling game. It was never going to sell well. Those games, which is essentially space bowling. It pulls huge ratings on television across the galaxy. It sounds like propaganda from the bowling industry. Universe. Bomberman 64, the second attack? This one was so good. I don't think I played the sequel. No, I definitely didn't play this. I mean, I, I just didn't like Battle Tanks. I don't know if I played this one, but I imagine it's just going to be the same. Finally, Bugs Life. This game fucking sucked. This game was trash. Now this game was actual dog shit. This was like Bubsy 3D for the N64. I hated this fucking game. This is like all you do. You, you throw limes. I don't even know what they're supposed to be. I don't remember, but you just throw these like little dog toys around at bugs. It sucks. Apparently there's a cool speed run for this game though. I mean, it seems like a pretty hype speed game. <laughs> hey, that about sums it up. That's going in trash tier. Blitz again. I'll just put it up there with S because the Blitz games don't miss. Clay Fighter, Sculptor's Cut. Didn't play this. Seems pretty hyped though. Charlie Blast? I think it's Charlie Blasts. Charlie Blast Territory N64. Tetrisphere, Wet Tricks, and Buster Move are all fantastic puzzlers which helped really fill the gap between arcade races. Yeah, I didn't play it. Ooh, Command and Conquer on the N64, one of my first RTS games. This one was pretty cool. Probably doesn't hold up well or anything, but it was pretty fun for its time. Wow, this looks so much different than I have it in my head. Unit building. Unit wow. Building. Is this right? Is that the right one? Yeah, I guess so. Wow, that looks almost nothing like I remember it. Nice. Uh, I'm just gonna give that a B. Hey, Carmageddon 64. That's a notoriously awful game. I played this not when I was a kid, but back when I was just playing all the shittiest games ever. It's pretty bad. Like, it's pretty awful. It's not fun. Yep, so this one's easy trash tier. Carmageddon 64 is abominable. I'm pretty sure this is another army men game, right? Don't think I played it. Yep, didn't play it, and that looks awful. Chopper attack? I just don't think I played many helicopter games besides the army men one. I mean, I'll look it up, but I'm pretty confident I didn't play this one either. Man, there's a lot of dog shit here. Helicopters were all the rage back then, I guess. That doesn't ring any bells. Oh, I remember this game. On your mark, get set, go! Since I played this one, I won't put it in sport, but I do remember it. That golf cart guy is kind of hype. I'll be honest, I don't even remember liking it, but watching it now, it looks pretty cool. This dude is pumping dick on that golf cart, though, I'll tell you what. Jesus Christ. That looks fine. Uh, I'll just, I'll just give it a B. Penny Racer? That sounds familiar. Oh, hey! This game was really kind of not terrible. They have a, if I remember correctly, they have a cool figure eight track in here. Or I might be getting it up, mixed up with a different game. But I do remember this. The sequel to this was goaded? Couldn't tell you. I vaguely remember this one, though. I'm just gonna put that at a C. Anyone recognize the, this game? There's one car game in particular I'm looking for, and it's not Cruise in USA or Cruise in World. Those are great. But there's one car game on the N64 that I've never been able to recall the name of, but you used to be able to get speed by grinding your car against the rails, and you could do backflips in your car because it had cool test tracks. Maybe it's this game. Does anyone recognize this? This is Scars. That's Rush, is it? I guess we'll find out. Before, <laughs> weapons and cars which are based on animals. That's cool. If you're wondering where the title SCARS comes from, well, it stands for Supercomputer Animal Racing Simulator. And if that doesn't I don't think I played this. Play this yeah, I don't think I played it. 
Chameleon again, didn't play it. Now we get to the really good driving simulator. I don't even know. It's not really a driving simulator, but cruising is so fun. I remember for cruising, I think it was cruising world. I remember going to pre, no, that would have been kindergarten. In kindergarten, I was going to the bathroom and I shut the door on my finger and I like busted the shit out of my finger and my nail was like in two pieces. And I was crying and I was really upset, but mom told me I get to play cruising when I get home because she knew I really liked it. I got excited. So I went home, played cruising, and slept it off. Didn't, like, fix my finger, but god damn it, I do remember playing it. Just a cool series all around. And cruising world. Basically the same thing, but a little bit better looking, I always thought. Physics looks sick in that game, because they are. Anything is possible in cruising world. If you dream it, you can drive it. I'm just gonna put both at A. Didn't play the South Park game. Uh, I remember hating Castlevania on the N64. Yeah, it looks about as bad as I remember. Show me some combat. Come on. Fight him. Yep, that's definitely trash tier. <laughs> this is the one I remember I stole from a friend, kinda. It was honestly justice. A buddy of mine named Jonathan rented this from Blockbuster and never returned it, so I stole it from him. Not, like, because I loved Blockbuster or anything. I mean, I liked Blockbuster, but it wasn't like I was their repo man. I just felt like, you know, he didn't really earn it in the first place. What's the name of this one, though? Well, I don't remember that at all. This is like one of the first things in the game, too, and it doesn't ring a single bell. Uh, just for the sake of having stolen this game from a friend, I'm going to give it a B, even though the game doesn't look very good. Destruction Derby 64. Don't know if I played it. Wow, I was fucking hype. I can't see shit. Sal Hero? What is this? Dual Heroes. Well, didn't play this. They had so many god-awful fighting games on the N64. Holy shit. Dark Rift? Another fucking terrible fighting game. Man, can you believe there's actually a time when fighting games were, like, mainstream popular? That's crazy. Everyone was making fighting games, now they're rare. Doom 64 was not good. I gave this game multiple chances and just never liked it. But then again, this was when I was younger. Blood was scary and stuff, so... Maybe I was just biased. I'm just gonna put that at, like, C. Cause I... Obviously it's not trash, but I remember as a kid I hated it. Duke Nukem I actually didn't play when I was a kid. Donkey Kong 64. That's going to be controversial, but I didn't think it was that great. I thought it was fun. I played it a lot, and it was really cool that the cartridge was yellow. But I just didn't like it nearly as much as, like, Super Mario 64 or any of that. Okay. The speedrun's hype? I don't think I've ever seen the speedrun for this. I don't remember the name of this game, but I remember the cover. What's the name of this one? Donald Duck Going Quackers. Nice. Looks pretty cool. I don't think I played it. I just recognized the cover. I probably saw it at an EB Games once. Yeah, it looks Crash Bandicoot-esque. But I didn't play it. Didn't play that. I think I played Duck Dodgers, though. I did play this one. I don't really remember it super well, though. I'm just gonna put it and didn't play it. I don't remember too much about it. Oh, this is Daikatana. Didn't play it when I was a kid, but this is another one of those worst games of all time. Daikatana is a notoriously awful dog shit game. And it's pretty fucking bad. It's really fucking boring. It's pretty bad. The worst traveling through time with the magical sword, trying to stop a power hungry warlord from rewriting history. Okay. Yeah, Daikatana's trash. What's the story behind it, though? 
What was the story? John Romero is gonna make you his bitch. This was its tagline. Mm, that's kind of hype. That legendary ad campaign. Is it still on YouTube? I'd like to see that. Uh, commercial. Official trailer, 1999. Yeah, I can almost see something behind all of these JPEG. I didn't see anything about John Romero making me his bitch. Extreme G. Wow, I wasn't even close. This game was unbearably boring. Extreme G was awesome. I did not like it. Looks kind of cool. It looks kind of cool now, but I hated it when I was a kid. Now I can appreciate it, but I hated it when I was a kid. I didn't play any of the Elmo games. As hard as that is to believe. This is Star Wars Pod Racer, right? This game kind of clapped. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Gasgano, everyone's favorite glup shitto from the Star Wars universe. Oh, this is pretty nostalgic. This was cool. This game was cool. That was a good game. I don't think I'd give it S tier, but I will absolutely... Give it A. Something Assault. Yeah, I can't read the first word. Starfight. I mean, I don't recognize the cover at all, so I'm just going to assume I didn't play it. Quest 64 I did play, and it was not good. I think this game got like a cult following or something, but I hated it. Looking at it now, though, it's kind of cool. Just fight some fucking frogs. But, I have to go by me when I played it, and I did not like it. Though I don't think it's as bad as Bugs Life and Carmageddon, so I'll just go see. I'll be generous. Power... Power Aiken? Oh, Forsaken. Forsaken 64. Damn, this shit is funky. Definitely didn't play it though. Eh, sports. Sports. Blitz again. Damn, S tier is dominated by three Blitz, Banjo, Tui, Worms, and Tony Hawk. I didn't realize they put so many Blitz games on the Nintendo. But I mean, they're all good. Blitz is actually iconic. Flyogi Dragon? Oh, Flying Dragon. That, yeah, that, that sounds about right. Flying Dragon. Breaker Chidori. Michael. Oh, I definitely didn't play that. Fighting Force 64, I am pretty sure I played. Yeah, I did play this one. This game was pretty cool. I'll give that like a B. B's kind of generous, but I'll give it a B. Oh, now we're cooking. Finally! Fighter Destiny. These games were so fucking cool. It was kind of like Soul Calibur in that you could ring out your opponents. But I remember... Fighter Destiny, I think it was Fighter Destiny 2. They had one girl that had a bra, and her celebration was she, she'd like move her tits like this. That blew my mind as a kid. I was like, oh my god. Fucking boobs. So I'd always play as her and do my best to win. It was so cool. God, this game, this game was great. Fighter Destiny 1 and 2. I'm actually pretty sure I have it on my shelf over there. Because Fighter Destiny 2 had like a black cartridge, which was pretty rare. I mean, as a fighting game, it's probably trash, but I loved it. Must have been two. You think if I typed in Fighters Destiny 2, titties would come up? Or am I just playing with fire too much there, you think? Alright, I'm not gonna... Jesus, I'm not gonna keep searching around for it. I'm just gonna put both of them in the same tier. I'm gonna give them A. Oh my god, there was a Razor Scooter game. Oh my lord, look at that cover! It is a child on a Razor Scooter grinding off Blockbuster ticket. Holy shit. Razor Freestyle Scooter. Holy shit. Beating every Nintendo 64 game. What an ambitious mission. Over and over. The this looks good. One is collecting all of the wheels. It's kind of like collecting skate in a Tony Hawk game, except there's far more wheels. This okay, so it's, it is just Tony Hawk, but with Razor. Hey, that's fine. Fits right at home. Sport. Conker's Bad Fur Day was great, but I didn't like it as much as everyone else did. 
I didn't get very far when I was a kid. So I went back and played it back when I was making videos on all kinds of old and shitty games. But Conker's Bad Fur Day was just a good game. So I beat it when I was probably like 17 or 18. The Great Mighty Pooh is still a classic. But the game wasn't as fun. But I, again, I, I was 17 or 18, so I was already used to like modern games, which probably made it less fun for me. I think if I really committed to beating it when I was a kid, I would have liked it a lot more. How about some sketch, you little twat? It, it, it's an iconic game. Like, it doesn't feel good to put it at A tier, but I gotta be honest, man. When I played it, I just didn't like it all that much. I liked everything that wasn't gameplay. Would you say Zelda games still hold up? Oh god, yeah. I'll get into that once we get to them, but Zelda games still hold up. I also think Star Fox doesn't hold up super well. Again, I loved it when I was a kid. Played the shit out of it. Huge fan. Went back and played it 2012, I think, when I was doing the Critical Versus series to fight Andros. So I had to go through the whole game to get to Andros. Still pretty fun, but not as good as I remembered it being. Because, obviously, at that point I was already used to modern games. Still a good game, though. Still loved it as a kid. Fox? I thought they had me. Star Fox 64 OST was dope. OST slaps. Also, the boss fights are really cool. It's just everything getting to the boss is not cool. <laughs> it's, it's just so tedious. Uh, I don't even remember if I played F-Zero X. I don't think I did. Extreme G2. I don't think I played. I don't recognize the cover. Mythical Ninja looks familiar. Nah, maybe I didn't play this. Okay, that's another didn't play. Deadly Arts? Don't think I did. So many fighting games. Wow, this looks pretty fucking cool though. It's like the game just plays itself at two times speed. Sport. GT64 I might have played. Alright, this has to go into GOAT. GoldenEye64. The best game that everyone remembers on the N64 that holds up the worst. Playing this game now is miserable. It is damn near unplayable. But holy shit for its time was it an innovation. This revolutionized gaming. My dad and I used to play this together. It was so good. And the movie is incredible. This is the best movie tie-in game probably ever for its time. GoldenEye is still also my favorite James Bond. So fucking good. The multi oh the multiplayer was fucked because everyone plays Odd Job, but yeah. Everything about GoldenEye was just incredible. For its time. And now everything about it's terrible to, to, to go back and play. It also had really cool cheat codes like Big Head Mode was great. It just had so much going for it. God damn, this game was good. Holy shit. You can play it with mouse with mods. I know, I know people went back and fixed it with mods and shit, but we're on the N64 here. The pause screen music slaps. Everything in that game was a masterpiece for its time. Spawned one of the greatest, greatest videos of all time, Streets 112. Streets 112, baby. This video is still referenced to this day. The Ryan Lockwood Streets 112, man. An MRRL time. Me and Oh, Mark so good. Me and fucking Mark Rootsu. That's fucking right. I skipped 113. I am a fucking legend. I've never seen a 113 and I never fucking will. One oh, man. It's so good. So good. The 112, baby. You're in your own land of delusion. What are you talking about? How old are you? Did you not play GoldenEye or something? That game is still one of the most beloved titles of all time. Like, just look in the chat. What are you talking about? It just doesn't hold up well. Glover was mediocre. I like the idea of Glover more than the actual game. Like, where he plays the ball. I didn't get very far in it. But it wasn't a bad game. I just lost interest. Just a really generic platformer, but where you're a little hand. It's just, it's an okay game. It's just fine. 
Germa loves Glover, does he? That's cute. No, I definitely did not play this. This looks awful, though. Is this Hercules? Looks like he plays Ric Flair. Man, this looks miserable. Oh my god. Okay, uh, I'm I'm just gonna put that in trash, even though I didn't play it just from having watched that sport. Oh, Hydro Thunder S, so good. Oh, Hydro Thunder so fucking good. These games were so fun. I mainly played it on the Sega Dreamcast, though. I'll openly admit, I didn't really play much of the N64 version. The Dreamcast version was just straight up better. This was another game my dad and I used to play together. So this game, Easy S, super good game. Hybrid Heaven. I didn't play this as a kid, but I made a video on it back in like 2014, 2013. The game's good. I did Corruptions on it mainly, but I also played it normally. It's not a bad game by any means, actually. It's pretty cool. I'll give Hybrid Heaven like a, like a C, like a comfortable C. It's not bad. It was pretty fun. I don't know if I played this Hot Wheels game. Is this the one where you get to go in the desert for a while, like forever? doing nothing oh yeah yep this this was bad I did not like this at all it just felt like you were controlling a fucking brick yeah I did not like this game <laughs> this was pretty bad this game fucked nah this game was pretty ass yep yep I don't know if I'd put it in trash, though, with all of these. I'll give it a C. I, I don't know what the fuck that is. I didn't play the Indiana Jones game, but I do know it just from, like, uh, videos on it. Sport. I did play Space Invaders. Space Invaders, you get what you you get what you expect. As advertised, it's just Space Invaders. It's not bad. It's not great. It's just a B. Hey, Earthworm Jim. This conflicted. I don't know where I'd put this one. It's certainly not... Awful. I'm stuck between a B and a C. Is there no music or anything? There we go, there's a little something. I think I'd probably settle with a B. I don't remember too much from it. I remember just enough to remember that I found it average. I'll give it a B. Oh, the Batman Beyond game. I didn't play it as a kid, but I played it for a video a long time ago. It's not very good. It's pretty fucking terrible, actually. Yeah, this is absolutely trashed here. Batman Beyond the Show? Amazing. Batman Beyond the Game? It hurts my fucking feelings. Terrible. Still shook by your rating on Hot Wheels? Well, my opinion is the only accurate one, so... I don't know what to tell you, man. You had bad taste. I'm sorry to break it to you like this. Check this one out, though. This one might really hurt your feelings. Snowboard Kids 2, going above Hot Wheels. This game fucking slaps. Snowboard Kids 2 is good. Like, I'm speaking relatively, because I wouldn't necessarily put it up here with Star Fox or any of that. But for what it is, it's good. Made a whole video on that, too. Fucking great game. I actually bet this game has some really cool tech to it. It had such weird momentum with its physics. I bet if someone really wanted to dig into it, they could find some... Gross shit to make this an interesting speed game. Oh, here we go. The best Kirby game. It's not quite GOAT, but it is the best Kirby game. I actually was watching a speedrun on this earlier. Kirby and the Crystal Shards is still the best Kirby game. So good. It's the, apparently the only one where you can actually mix different powers. I thought that was like more than just this Kirby game, but apparently not. I don't know how Kirby gets shit on- or Kirby 64 gets shit on. This is the best one. There are so many unique combinations of powers. Yeah, absolutely easy S tier, but just not quite GOAT territory. Oh, here's the other fighter, Destiny. No, you're right. Yeah, Major League Baseball featuring Ken Griffey Jr. I played this. Man, this looks fucking haunted. Yep, this game was bad. This game was just straight up bad. He's packing some shit in those pants. Yeah, he's wearing a little adult diaper. Yeah, I didn't like this game. That's going in trash. I don't recognize that at all. Mario Kart 64, absolute goat. That is some goaty shit for sure. 
Mario Kart 64 is so fucking good. And the speedruns for it are still amazing. There is still new tech and shit found for Mario Kart 64 speedruns. It's so cool. It is so cool. Such an active community as well. Amazing, amazing game. I used to think that the trophy you get for like completing the circuit was a trophy they were going to ship you in the mail. So when I'd win, I'd ask my parents when it was coming, and they'd always just keep pushing the date further and further back. They didn't have the heart to tell me that it's not real. Such a good game. Mario Party 3. Which one introduced the lava platforms? Was it 2 or 3? I think it was 2. Because 2, I think, is the better one. No, it wasn't in the first one. It was in the second or third one, I'm pretty sure. I mean, either way, Mario Party is still timeless. I'm going to give that S. I'll give Mario Party 3 S. And I'm going to give 2 Goat because I'm pretty sure that's the one I'm thinking of. I'm almost positive. I, Mario Party 2, I am th I think it's this one. Where it had like the skateboard to escape Boo. It had Lava Mushrooms. It had um, Stay in the Lines, right? Is that 2? Yeah, I think so. So I, I think I got the order right there. Still so good. This game was so fun. Oh, that was a good, that was a fun mini game too. It didn't really have, yes, this is the one I was talking about. Perfect. Yeah, I was right. Mario Party 2. It did not have any bad mini games. I don't know how Nintendo used to understand fun so well back then. Now all of a sudden the new Mario Party game has the worst fucking mini games of all time. One of them's just like add numbers and fall asleep. Like, oh my God. I played that with uh, the official podcast boys, what, like a year ago? All the minigames on there were trash. Absolute irredeemable fucking dog shit. The newest one is good. It might not have been in the newest one, but it was one of them... It was one of the newer ones, and it was terrible. It was fucking terrible. I did play Lego Racers. It was okay. I wouldn't put it up here with the rest, but it was okay. I'd give it like a C. Mortal Kombat... It was mm, between B and C for me. I didn't really like the original Mortal Kombat's too much. I played most of them. I liked it more than Body Harvest, though. I'll put it in B. Mega Man 64 was kind of wacky. It was actually pretty cool. Show the gameplay. Yeah! Mega Man 64 was really unique. Especially compared to all the other Mega Man games. I mean, even to this day, it's still pretty unique among Mega Man games. Pretty sure it got a cult following, right? People love this game, don't they? This game was amazing. Yeah. I'd put that in... I'd put that comfortably in A, actually. I remember quite liking it. Mario Tennis. That's an S. Mario Tennis was great. Mario Tennis was really fucking cool. Yeah, Mario Tennis is one of their better sports games, honestly. All the Mario sports games were good. Sport, sport. Here's a game I don't think any of you played, but I did. Mace. It's another one of those throwaway, shovelware, shitty fighting games, but I played the fuck out of it. I played this a lot because I really enjoyed the character design. You could sometimes just insta-kill people, if I remember correctly, if you got, like, a limb. Though I could be wrong. It was just a fun fighting game. So, Mace, I'm gonna actually put up pretty high. I'll put it up there with Fighter De Um... I'll put it one below Fighter Destiny. Because I played more Fighter Destiny. Mario Golf S... Played the shit out of that. Super fun. Mickey Mouse Speedway. Did I play that? Okay, so just wanted to be a Mario Kart clone. Classic fucking Disney. I didn't play it though. Didn't play the Monopoly game. Paper Mario. That's an S. All the Mario games on the N64 just straight up didn't miss. So fucking good. Yeah, Paper Mario, incredible. I wouldn't put it in GOAT, though. Because I still think, like... I still think these are above. Like, far above. But I did like Paper Mario a lot. 
One of my f very early streams on Justin TV was playing Paper Mario. It is absolutely a great game, though. You know what was not a great game, though? The newest Paper Mario. I hated that shit. Like, it's tolerable, but it's insulting compared to this and 10,000 Year Door and all that. Or, or Thousand Year Door. All that. It was straight ass. Sport. Here we go. Here's here's one. Here's a Mario game that absolutely fucking sucked ass. I did not like Dr. Mario at all. Like, it was so boring. It was just so fucking boring. <laughs> I hated it. It was so boring. Ooh, this is the buggy game I was talking about. Beetle Adventure Racing. This game was kind of cool. It's kind of misleading because it's not really a racing game. You just kind of slowly drive your beetle around at, like, a moderate pace. Like, I'm pretty sure you just obey the road rules. Like, you don't really do anything interesting. Yep, it's just Beetle Adventure Racing, baby. You get what you you get what you pay for. Not a whole lot happens out on those streets, but god damn it, we drive it anyway. Let's see. World is not enough. B. This was such a step down from Goldeneye in my opinion. But it was kind of cool because the cartridge was blue. But I really thought it was a massive step backwards. Damn, watching it back, it actually looks a lot better than I remembered it being. I remember not liking it very much, especially compared to Goldeneye. It's emulated though, it definitely doesn't look like this normally. Maybe that's what it is. I'm still gonna keep that in a B. More bowling. God, there were so many fucking bowling games on the N64, they were really trying to pump that shit. Brunswick was working overtime to get people back to the lanes. Jesus Christ. I'm just gonna give that trash for like our 50th bowling game. Had enough. Alright, Pokemon Stadium 2 S, Pokemon Stadium 1 A. Both games were amazing. Poke well, actually, I'll just give them both S, to be honest. Pokemon Stadium 2 is better, just because of better, like a wider selection. But they're both extremely good games. I was actually watching a speedrun for this a few days ago. The speedrun world record is 19 hours and 28 minutes. And the guy who set it is the only one that speedruns it. So he first set like a 20 hour speedrun record, and then he beat it by going sub 20 hour, and then he recently beat it a few months ago by going 19 hour 28 minutes. It's crazy. It's such a long game, but it's super good. Pokemon Stadium 2 is the better of the two though. It's just a straight up improvement in every area. And it's also kind of cute how Pokemon Stadium is a 22-year-old game, but it looks better than half the shit they put on the Switch when it comes to its Pokemon battles and its effects. It's crazy. This was back when they were trying to be interesting with the Pokemon brand. Yeah, baby! Nothing like the minigame area. It did have some banging mini minigames. True. True. The minigames did slap. That's just more Pac-Man. Perfect Dark was great. I'd give that an A. Uh, a or S. I think I'd just go S. It was really good. Perfect Dark was just extremely good. Is this the last Perfect Dark game they made? Or no, they had Perfect Dark Zero on the 360. That was the last one they made. There's a reboot coming next year. That's pretty hype. Perfect Dark Zero was absolute trash. Literally killed the whole IP. This game was really good though. Same team behind Goldeneye, right? Just a great game. Timeless. Classic. No complaints. Pokemon Snap. Bro, this is going goaded. I'm not gonna lie. I played so much Pokemon Snap. This was in an era where everything was a mystery. So in Pokemon Snap... I would constantly be experimenting on how to find more Pokemon. And then, of course, in the schoolyard, you'd always have those absolute jokesters, those pranksters telling you lies. Like, you can find a Mewtwo if you throw an apple at the Electabuzz 45 times and then play the polka flute. So you'd always be trying out all of these crazy tactics to find Pokemon to take a picture of them. Such a good game. Pokemon Snap is absolutely amazing. 
fuck me, this is good. And you can always, like, lure them to do cool things, like uh, Pikachu riding the Voltorb. Pikachu on a surfboard. Oh. The music was great. Again, back when Pokemon, like, it had some, some interesting shit. The most recent Pokemon game looked awful. Somehow, Pokemon Snap from 22 years ago looks more alive than the new Pokemon Snap. Hey you, Pikachu. That game just never fucking worked for me. I'm just gonna put that at a C tier. I'm sure it was fun, but every time I tried to play that game, it didn't work. Like, it just it didn't work. I remember playing it as a kid and it never worked. Pikachu never listened. Yeah, this is the game with the mic. Pikachu is just like the most rebellious, stubborn asshole. I didn't play the Powerpuff Girls game when it came out, but I played it like eight years ago for a video. It's fucking terrible. It's really bad. It's a fighting game instead of trash. It's not good. Like, it's not good by any means, but it does have one cool mechanic where you can use the environment, and I always appreciate that, kind of like Power Stone. It's like you can run around the mayor's office fighting one of the gang green gang, throw chairs at him. Exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, you pretty much only have one move. You just keep kicking each other. This shin kicks forever. And then you can pick up items and throw them. Which is the only interesting mechanic. Rewatching this, I'm going back to my original thing and just putting it in trash. Power Rangers Rescue. I made a video on this one too. I went back and played it not super long ago. Well, I guess it's been like 10 years now, but... It wasn't that long ago, relatively speaking. The game's terrible. <laughs> the game's absolutely fucking awful. This shit is so bad. That's going right into trash. It's pilot wings. Oh yeah, it's pilot wings. Caleb was talking about this earlier. Let's see. Let's see if I played it. Because I don't recognize the cover. It certainly doesn't look familiar. Yeah, I did not play this. I did play Quake, though. Quake is an A. I'm not going to give it an S, but I, I did very much enjoy it. This is just a game that's outright better on PC. Like, I mean, Sport, 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 Rush 2. This is the game chat was saying that I was talking about. Let me see. Tournament playthrough. Warning. What's the warning? Too intense? Might overload your hype receptors? Yep, this is absolute. this is absolutely the game. Chat was right, yeah, this is the game I was thinking of. He's doing exactly what I used to do and getting as close to the wall as possible, like damn near grinding on it for a little extra speed. Yep. Yes, sir! Oh, wow, this guy sucks. Yeah. That's probably the best racing game on the N64. I'm gonna go S for that. I like it more than cruising, so it's gonna have to go above cruising. <laughs> this game is sick. It was. It was very good. This game was a lot of fun. If I remember correctly, they released a pretty recent Road Rash game, which was not very fun. But the N64 one is still a classic. I played it a good bit. I'd put that comfortably at a, like a nice... Probably like a nice A, actually. It was a fun game. It's exactly what a little boy wants to do. Ride a motorcycle and hit people with a spiked club. Star Wars Rogue Squadron. I can't remember. Is this the one where you, like, drive the... Uh, wrap the coil around the AT-AT? Because -AT? if so, I played this a lot. And I can't remember which game that was. Whoever's doing these long plays, Godspeed to you in 64 Archive. They've got it broken up by level 2, so it's really easy to go through. Yep. Oh, this game was good. This game was really good. Oh, yeah, that shit was tough for a little baby boy Charlie. My dexterity was just not there. I was only just developing object permanence. This was a tough mission for me. Great game, though. I'd probably give that an S. Rush 2049. Damn, I loved Rush 2. I don't think I played 2049. This looks hype, though. Jesus. Got little wings on your car? I would've loved this. 
Didn't play it. Oh, here we go. Now we're getting into Turok. So, I did not like Rage Wars. I was not a fan of Turok Rage Wars. Again, it wasn't bad. But I was very let down. I played the first Turok before that at my cousin's house. And it was so good that I begged my parents to let me get it at my house. Which they obliged. And I loved the first Turok, but I didn't like this one at all. So this is going to be C, and then let me go to first Turok, which I saw down here. There it is. Oh yeah, this... Well, I'm between S and Goaded on the original Turok, to be honest. I don't know which one. I think probably S. Just because I don't know if I'd put this... Nah, I'm going to go Goaded. The first Turok was just so amazing. It was so fucking good. Oh, man. It also had cool cheat codes. I used to push this game to its fucking limits when I was a kid. The blood. Yeah. It was pretty hardcore. Just such a cool game all around. The weapons were really interesting, too. I don't know... I don't think I know Robotron. This looks pretty cool, though. Holy shit, a twin stick shooter? This has to be one of the first ones. Well, no, really? I can't think of too many, uh, like, in 64 era twin stick. Well, I, granted, I guess it's not a, necessarily a twin stick, but it's the same general concept. Things reset Wibbly. I didn't play this. I don't know what the tuna salad thing is, but fuck yeah. Uh, maybe I played it? I don't know. I'm just gonna go with didn't play. Starshot. This is a game nobody talks about, but I liked it a lot. This is one of those, well, what I feel like is one of those forgotten great games. This game had like a shark in the water on one of the levels where if you swim out there and wait a little bit, you just get eaten by a shark. And that was so terrifying to me. This game was really cool. I don't know if I'd really give it S tier because it wasn't as good as like all the other 3D platformers, but this one was really fun. It definitely deserves a little more recognition than it gets because nobody ever mentions this fucking thing. Even I didn't remember the name of it. I just remember like the the cover and like the actual gameplay. But it's it's a really interesting game. I thought it was a lot of fun. I'd give that an A. Actually, A might be a little overzealous because it's not as good as some of the other A's in here. I'll give it a B. Rush again. Wow, they had a lot of Rush games on here. Pretty sure, yeah. I put Rush 2 up there. So Rush 1... Basically just one below that, I guess. I don't really remember Rush 1, so I'm not even going to bother. I'll just put that in Did Not Play. I remember Rush 2 really well. I don't re don't really remember the first one. Snowboard Kids! Let's go! Snowboard Kids 2 is the one that I know and love. I don't know if I ever actually played Snowboard Kids 1, but let's check. I mean, I really wouldn't be able to distinguish them other than Snowboard Kids 2 being the one that I played most recently 11 years ago. I'm just going to also put it in the same tier because Snowboard Kids is so fucking good. I also think I did it a real disservice by putting it B. I'm just going to put them both A. I played this Spider-Man game on the PlayStation 1. Is this the one that has Carnage? This game was great. Yeah, this was the one with Carnage. Yeah, this game was great. Actually, I might even give this one an S. This game was really fun. I'm going to give it an S. The next one is so easy. I think everyone knows where this is going. It's Super Mario 64. This is like the greatest of all time. Like the goat of goats. Like it's just, it is the best 3D platformer that's ever been made. Like just bar none. Also Super Mario 64. Pretty much everyone on Twitch can thank Super Mario 64 for the site blowing up. Back when Twitch was like first getting its land legs after it got uh, Justin TV got bought out. The main thing people went to Twitch for was for Super Mario 64 runs from Siglimic. That helped put Twitch on the fucking map. Game is not only iconic, but just still super influential all these years later. People still running the game, people still modding the game. 
an extremely active community. It is just one of the best games ever created in general, not just on the N64. It still has the tightest movement out of pretty much any 3D Mario game. It is still so incredibly fucking tight. It's crazy. Superman 64, on the opposite end of that spectrum, still one of the worst games of all time. I played this 12 years ago, like after playing it as a kid, it is still one of the worst games of all time. And it will forever be that way. Just a complete disaster top to bottom. Yep. One of the most infamous bad games ever. Up there with uh, E.T. on the Atari. It lives up and exceeds the hype of how shitty it is. When did I last play it? 12 years ago, I think? 11 years ago. The Rocket Robot on Wheels. I can't wait to get to the PlayStation 1 tier list. I played so much unbelievable dog shit that I know zero people in the chat have heard of. My parents used to frequent flea markets and I just get like five cent games on the PlayStation. I have played games that you guys would never even imagine exist. That's going to be like a huge tier list for me. But yeah, I don't recognize this shit at all. The only reason I brought that up is because this reminds me of a game on PlayStation 1 called Tiny Feeties or something. I don't know. It's a game of like very small people who run on like uh, flower pots and shit. Like they have their little obstacle courses set up in like people's houses and they just run on like pencils and whatever. I can't remember what the fuck that's called. It definitely wasn't Tiny Tootsies. It, it had some cute little name though. I think it was an alliteration. I certainly did not play this. But I'll at least give it a chance. I didn't play this. Star, War oh, Star Wars Shadow... I think... Oh, Shadow of the Empire. Oh, this is the one that had the, the cool little cutscenes, isn't it? The game was really confusing, though. There was no logic that went into its level design. So I remember on one of the bases, you would just end up running in circles. I actually don't think I ever got past that base. It might even be this one, I don't know. But this shit was awful. The level design was some of the worst I'd ever experienced. Still a really cool game though. I'd probably give that an A. I don't think it's as good as Rogue Squadron, so I'm not gonna give it an S. Tony Hawk Pro Skater, that's going right up there in S again. There's no bad Tony Hawk game for the early games. I already put Hydro Thunder up there, that's here twice. The WWF games! Let's go! The wrestling games were so good! Look how cool that is! Wow, holy shit. This looks amazing. Alright, well, I'll just go be there and never look at that again, because in my head it's so much cooler. Fist of Fury. Oh, I did play this. This was on the GameCube too, wasn't it? Or did they have just a sequel on the GameCube? I know there was definitely another Tom and Jerry fighter later on. Yeah, it was on the GameCube. Okay, I thought so. Pretty fun game. Safely just put that at a B. Nothing special. Mischief Makers. Someone in chat like two hours ago was begging for me to look at this one. But I don't even know if I played this. I definitely did not play this. Seems like a cool game, but I didn't play it. Tony Hawk, Easy S. We all know where that's going. I think there's a chance I might have. It seems vaguely familiar, but I don't remember enough about it. They all just blend together. Vigilante Bus? Is, th is that what that said? Oh, Vig Vigilante 8. Vigilante 8, Second Offense. What the fuck is happening? Cool title. Oh, it's like a Twisted Metal kind of game. Didn't play it. Oh, Vigilante 8, Second Offense. Maybe I played the sequel. Let's see. Nope. I guess I wasn't a big Vigilante guy. Hey, oh, I skipped this one. Micro Machines. Micro Machines, I remember. K-1. 
can't see where you're going. <laughs> yeah. That's true. I guess the gameplay design is a little flawed. You just kind of have to guess where you're going next. But I do remember this game. It's pretty interesting. I'll give that a B. Uh, I'll give it a... Yeah, I'll give it a B. I'm, B. I'm feeling real generous right now. Some of these do not deserve a B. Didn't play. Pool game. Oh, WCW Revenge. I remember that very well. I think you could play as gold dust in this one. Yeah, there was blood. Oh, fuck yeah. Actually, I also think this is the one where you could do like Kama Sutra positions. So you could like have people in all kinds of weird pretzels, if I remember correctly. Oh, this is absolutely that one. Yes, sir. And then you have people come storming out here dur during the WrestleMania. Oh, Jesus Christ. This was the best wrestling game, I think. I don't think No Mercy was better. For now, I'm going to put this at S, but maybe No Mercy was better. I'm going to have to check. There's only... What? Really? There's only eight playable characters? I don't know if I played this. Wow, this looks awful. I don't think I played that. I'm just going to put that in trash. Even though I don't think I played it. Oh, here we go. No mercy. Let's go. Oh, yeah. WWF No Mercy, baby. Oh, let's look at the finishers. Yeah, maybe I'd have to swap this. Maybe No Mercy is the better one. Jesus, this is like a two-minute finisher. No Mercy into S and Revenge into A. Don't think I played Speed 3D Hockey. What What does that say? Great? Oh, Gretzky 3D Hockey 98. <laughs> Can't believe I didn't play this. It looks, it looks awesome. Sport. Iggy's. This is Iggy's. Iggy's Wrecking Balls. Man, this looks awful. Holy shit. What? This was good, was it? I am number one. Well, I never played that. What I did play, though, is Winback. That shit's an S tier. Winback was great. Winback was so good. We actually have more S tier than we do A. I think I'm just being too generous, but whatever. Oh, I'm being very generous. I didn't even play this game. I just really like the cover. But Winback was so good. Oh, God, yeah. First cover shooter ever. Was it actually the first one ever? I can't imagine it actually was the first, but it had to be up there. I replayed this back in 2012 when I made a video on it with Corruptions. The game actually is still good. This one I do remember though. Yeah, the World Tour. Just another fun wrestling game. Nothing amazing, nothing great, but a fun one. I'll just give it a C. I think a C is more than fair. This cover looks familiar. Oh, I remember this. This one was pretty fun. Definitely not S tier, but it's a pretty fun game. There's really only like two weapons though. There's that like three shooter and then the electric. That's really about it that I remember. And also there's a bomb. There's like a bomb one. I'll get that in A. This was the very first game I ever played. Wave Race. Oh my god. First game of my entire life. I actually recently bought the Wave Race, like, package on eBay. It's not sealed or anything. It's also, like, super damaged and shit, but I just wanted it because it's the first game I ever played in my fucking life. I got the N64 as a gift from a family friend and it came with Wave Race and I played the fuck out of it. It's a great game. Like, it was a very fun game. I got lucky that it was the first one I played. So that's definitely an S tier. You can do cool tricks. You go real fast. Just a good game all around. Good time. I don't think I played this. I don't fucking know. There's so many goddamn wrestling games, it's unreal. 
Is this the actual audio? That is disturbing. I'm just gonna go did not play on that. WrestleMania 2000? Holy shit, another one. Oh my god, it's still going. I actually bet I've played every single one of these, but I just don't remember most of them. They all blend together. Damn, The Rock is definitely cooking up some shit there. Wow, what a face. I'll just say didn't play, even though I'm quite certain I did. I'm just gonna put C. I'm pretty sure I fucking played that at some point. Finally. Memorable games. Gex. A tier. Not S, but a comfortable A. Gex was mainly just carried by its style rather than its actual gameplay. This was your first ever game? Nice. Gex is a good one. It's a, it's a good game. But I definitely think it's lackluster when compared to the other 3D platformers on the N64. Like I said, it's really just the style of it that helps carry it, that most people remember it for. I don't know what the fuck that is, that's just a didn't play right off rip. Cruisin' Exotica. That was kind of a dangerous search on Twitch, to be honest. Oh, wow. Wait, this game got, this game's going hard. Hooey! Don't know if I played this one, but if I did, I probably would have remembered. Holy. Lord have mercy. Yeah, I don't know if I played this. Oh, wait. I recognize those Sphinx. I think I did play this, yeah. I remember this level. Oh, fuck yeah. I'll just put this with the other cruising games. Oh! Whoa! Is this a solar powered doorstop? What the fuck is this thing? Doing backflips and shit on it? I don't remember that. But yeah, that's good. That looks good. I recognize this, the, the level with the Sphinx and shit on it. Rayman 2, that's going into GOAT territory, baby. We got another GOAT game. Rayman 2 is so good. So fucking good. This was also another one of those very rare games that my mom played with me. It's also a really hard game. This game demanded, like, perfection from a child. A lot of the platforming is cutthroat. And you throw these little, like, snowball things, which are really hard to aim. There's a lot of content in this game, true. I actually don't think I ever beat it. I'll be honest, I don't think I beat this game. Such a good game, though. Fuck. I think you kind of want to replay this one, to be honest. It might be a fun one to replay at some point. But that's absolute goat territory for that one. I actually did play Paperboy. It's okay. It's fine. I gave it a B. I know most people probably remember it more fondly, but I mean, it's it's about what you'd expect. I remember playing Yoshi's Story at after school daycare, but I don't remember too much about it. Yeah, I only generally remember the game. Voice crack. I don't think I actually ever owned it. I think I only played it at daycare. That might have been what it is. S tier. Yeah, it's a game I've heard a lot about. But I think I only ever played it at after school daycare. So I don't think I'm in a position to really say where it should go. I remember liking it. It's just not accurate to put it in did not play. I'm just gonna put it in A. It's just a safe bet. <clears throat> People aren't gonna like this, but I wasn't a big Harvest Moon fan. This isn't one of those like beloved N64 titles. I didn't like it that much. Even when I was a kid, this just was not a genre for me. I did give it a fair shake, though. I tried my best to like it, it just wasn't for me. I think everyone knows where this is going, this is absolute goat. Like, inarguable. Like, I don't even think I need to explain. Ocarina of Time, one of the greatest of all time. Still holds up well today. Speedruns are still fucking hype. People still finding cool speedrun tech. Like, just recently they had the Ace stuff, right? Where you could literally skip to the credits after 8 minutes or whatever in the game. Still such an incredible experience. Ocarina of Time randomizer is the best. Randomizer is cool. Everything's cool about Ocarina of Time. When I was a kid, though, I could not beat this game. I had to go back and beat this when I was in college. Probably around 2013, same time that I was replaying the other games. It was fucking hard, too. It was still hard. The combat in Ocarina of Time is tricky. <laughs> like, it actually is unforgiving. And when I was a kid, I even bought the strategy guide just because the art in it was so cool. I used to trace the art and pretend that it was mine when I went to school. Such a great game. 
and a really cool strategy guide. I still have the strategy guide, actually. Where did I put it? I just saw it the other day. I, I wrote little notes in it. It'd be really cute if I could remember where I put it. Didn't play Battle Zone. And then I think everyone knows where this is going as well. This is also goat territory. Majora's, Basket, Majora's Mask is just another masterpiece. It's timeless. And that game was impossibly difficult. Even harder than Majora's Mask. So fucking tough. Really cool cartridge though. It has like the holographic front on it. Here, I have it right here. I believe this is still to date the most unique cartridge the N64 ever had. I still have my original one here. So it has like that little front on it that changes depending on the angle you look at it. It's so cool. Such a good game. But it is brutal. I went back and replayed that probably around 2013. Actually, I replayed some of it with Andrew. And Andrew and I got stuck in the Water Temple on Majora's Mask. Like, it's just a, it's just a fucking hard game. It's just a legitimately difficult game. It was poetic because the Water Temple and Ocarina of Time tripped me up when I was an adult. And then the Water Temple and Zelda's Majora's Mask tripped me and Andrew up as adults. They did not fuck around with that. So did this get every N64 game? I feel like it didn't miss any. The only reason these aren't up there is because these are repeats. I think we got all 368 isn't that how many there are? 368? 365? Something like that? Diddy Kong Racing? There was no Diddy Kong Racing. You are correct. They did not have Diddy Kong Racing. Underwhelmingly, I didn't play it when I was a kid. I played it for a video a while back, but I don't think I ever posted the video. I think this got everything except Toy Story 2 and um, Diddy Kong Racing, right? Some games that have absolutely stood the test of time as well. Super Mario 64... Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, even Smash 64, and Banjo-Kazooie. The other ones I don't- and Mario Kart. The other ones I, don't, I know haven't aged super well, like Goldeneye. Mario Party 2 I'm sure still aged well. Turok I know didn't. Nintendo had some real hits 